Yo, 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 it's Tuan coming through with another retarded Photoshop tutorial. This time, I'm going to be showing you various lighting effects, you know, to light up your picture. And, uh, yeah, here we have my picture that I put together for the tutorial, and, uh, it's a lady dancing outside in the thunder, and that's, that's what women do. Yeah. So, uh, you know, create a new layer, and, uh, grab a nice color, and... Go ahead and go to your brush tool and uh, grab a nice size, a nice soft brush, and go ahead and hit this brush preset button. Or if you don't know what that is, I'm I'm very sorry for you, but you've been missing out on a lot of Photoshop. And go to Window and hit Brushes, and uh, go ahead and go to Brush Tip Shape, and go ahead and scatter that out to about one 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 oh six. That sounds wonderful. Go to Shape Dynamics and go ahead and bring the size jitter all the way up to 100 and what that does is it changes the size of the the the, the circles your circle stances through life and they kinda change change the size of importance throughout your life and uh... change the minimum diameter to about 28 and leave the angle jitter alone maybe even add a nice 31 percent roundness jitter and one percent sounds great for minimum roundness and uh... We we'll go ahead and scatter that and bring the out that that up to a thousand and that that scatters your stars across the sky and so you can connect them all to make a constellation and uh, leave the count at or bring the count up to two and uh get rid of that and just go ahead and you know paint these magic dots around your your subject and go ahead and change the size if you want to with your brackets on your keyboard that that you never use because you know. Who uses brackets? But now you can't use your left bracket to lower the size of your brush LL and use the right one to kinda raise the size of your brush and uh Yeah. Sounds great, doesn't it? Thank me for that later. And uh we're just gonna create some random dots and make sure some dots come up come out her armpit or sparkles or whatever you want to call them. And then go ahead and grab your eraser and erase the uh Sparkles that kind of go away from the subject, that kind of leave their source or their source of power, and uh, start to lose their life as they move away from the female, just like all men do. They once you move away from females, once you isolate yourself, you you lo you lose your life, you lose your manliness. So uh, once you're done with that, and uh, go ahead and double click the layer and hit a nice outer glow. Make sure it's a nice sexy color. We, we, that's all we want is sexy in our Photoshop. And I'll uh, press OK and maybe bring the opacity up and mess with the blend mode if you feel that's necessary. And mess with the size because you always just want to mess with the size and press OK. And uh, yeah, that's just look at those glows of light, those glowy dots that we just created. And that's your first lighting effect. And we're going to create a new layer and learn the second lighting effect. And and we're going to, uh, we're going to grab our pencil, you know, that that tool that I just taught last tutorial we're just gonna go ahead and uh, create some now we don't want to do it on both arms at once we're just gonna just gonna do, do, we're gonna do the right arm first and we're gonna create these these curves around their arm and kinda just yes just wrap them around and let that last one just kinda shoot out into the ocean and uh we're gonna go back to our brush and make sure the brush presets are off or just grab another brush. It's the same brushes. And uh change the size to something usable, like uh six. Six is the magic number. Go back to your pencil, right click and hit stroke path, brush simulate pressure and press OK and, and watch as those swirls kinda come to life on that path that you just made for them. Go ahead and uh grab your pen tool and right click and delete path and just look at those swirls and we're gonna create some new paths around this these swirls so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we don't want the swirls just laying on top of her we want them to kinda become one one with the uh, swirls so we're gonna create some selection boxes around every other swirl and uh... what that's gonna do is you're gonna see that swirls are gonna kind of overlap at some points and they're gonna, gonna come behind her and we're gonna 
hit make selection and, and delete path and and just look at yes look at that look at that and we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do the other arm now because we want to do them separate with that simulate pressure box check it just doesn't really work right and uh it's kind of yeah make some ridiculous swirls around her kind of shoot that last one off and you know stroke path press ok delete the path and make some new paths yes 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 this is what we want this is almost this is see look at this lady is magical how many people do you know kind of have swirls kind of going around them in everyday life you don't you don't even know any I feel sorry for you I know a couple make selection delete those paths and uh kind of just look at your picture and and go ahead and double click the layer and go ahead and hit outer glow and then change that to a nice delicious color like uh this red this this reddish orange red and uh press ok and go ahead and hit inner glow and, and go ahead and bring that to normal and bring the opacity down and to about 28 and change the color to something great great color yes and, and make sure that opacity is down and maybe even bring the size down to 3 and go back to auto glow and bring that size up to about uh, 13 and press ok and uh just look at your picture for about 5 seconds if you will and uh go ahead and create a new layer and apply image and that's going to take all your layers and just make them to, into one layer and uh we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to render lighting effects and learn our last lighting effect and uh once that box pops up it's already, I already have my settings so look at that and uh yeah we want a spotlight what your intensity intensity does is uh that's your life that's your intensity of your life if you don't know what the intensity means then you should probably go back to grade school and uh your focus is uh your focus of your light and the wider it is the further it goes out to the edges and the lower it is the further it stays from its light area and we're gonna uh we're gonna go to back to 27 or yeah that works and uh you can change the colors if you want to and I'm not even gonna mess with that because I already have it right your exposure that's your blinding row the higher you have it the more blind you're gonna be after the picture is over and uh you can move this around if you want to and mess with the width and the length and press okay and then just go ahead and look at it and you can already tell that it's it's too much that 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 lighting effect is too drastic I hate it so you can go to edit and hit fade lighting effects and here you can fade the lighting effect we're gonna use a uh, 26 and press ok zoom back out and just look at our picture and, and just kinda just kinda wish that we can meet this lady of, of magic and and you know just kinda Hope those swirls of heaven just kind of wrap onto us. And yes. So yeah, you know that's 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 all I have for you today. And uh, you can use these effects very wisely, and they can come out great if you concentrate very, 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 very hard. You really don't have to concentrate that hard, but yeah. So yeah, that's it. Stay golden. Peace out. I gotta go to class.